Hello guys, this is Silver Fox A. Presents you a well structured and organized video tutorial series on web development. In this tutorial series, we'll be taking a project based approach so that we can understand what all are the steps taken to develop a website from scratch. We'll be developing a block where we get to work on backend, APIs, along with the front end. One can split the website development process in three major fragments backend, API layer, and frontend. The entire database logic comes under backend. Plus, one of the major challenges for a backend developer is to ensure that the backend logics are not being exposed in any manner. Thus, we use API layer to keep all the backend logics hidden in the server and expose the API layer to interact with our application. Frontend is the user interface a normal user gets to see. Thus, I labeled it as beautiful lady. Let's start off with the API layer so that I can brief you about Slim framework, which is the backbone of our application. Slim is a lightweight PHP framework used for building web applications and RESTful web services. Most of the developer prefer Slim because of it being lightweight, thus it takes less resources compared to the other frameworks available. In our previous video, I have showed you how to install Slim along with Composure so that we don't waste much time in this particular video. Please follow the link in the description to check out our previous video. Let's navigate to the project directory. From there, tap in the command php hyphen s capital localhost and the port number copy the url and paste it in our browser we'll get to see the error because all our web based files are under public directory we'll be using php storm as the PHP IDE for our project. It's one of the best IDE available for PHP. I'll mention the download link in the description. Let's navigate to the project directory. It will open up the project and on the left hand side we get to see the project structure. Public directory is the one which is hosting our index page. Basically the one which gets referred initially. Index page requires all the dependencies that are needed for this particular application. The most important one that we'll be working on in our next video is the roots, where it takes care of the ACO friendly URLs along with the passing parameters to another page or view. For example, the current root available is slash name. Name is an optional parameter. So if you just type in localhost and the port number slash public it will redirect to this particular template here now the template is the for directory where we keep all the views i'll discuss more on this in the next video well i'm damn sleepy just two main content i wanted to share before we start off the project first thing is github it's a, it's a platform or else a marketplace kind of stuff where you can get all open source libraries that we might be needing for our project later on. If you just want to dive into explore, you get to see all the uh, platforms and other stuff. And if you just dive into one of these, you get to see the libraries available. And all of these are open source, which means you can just get the things and plug and play you can utilize the resources that are already available and developed by one of the developers from the developer community. Next thing is Tag Overflow. This is kind of a heaven for a developer or else a new developer kind of stuff. Cause whatever the problem you might be having, you just put the query there, you get to see the stuff if it's already available and you get a solution. Hope the video was informative and you liked it please share and subscribe for more